Good afternoon. As some of you may, may know, I repair Dyson vacuum cleaners quite a lot and I've come up with a really cool way to diagnose a motor failure without doing any work at all pretty much. Uh, I don't have to pull the machine apart. So here we have a really old Dyson. Obviously this one's going to hit the scrap heap but just want to demonstrate something which does work on a lot of modern ones as well. This one has a blown motor and the motor looks like this. It's a universal motor and this is what a diagram of those universal motors look like. Now there's a really simple way to diagnose if that motor has failed. What happens, I don't know if this is going to show up well, but the armature um, gets black and it goes open circuit. So what we do is we get the plug and we plug it into the wall, pull it out and I do know that it is switched on so but you, you will have to know this and then once you do that all you have to do is get a screwdriver and put it across there. Now that nothing happened there that's because I pulled that plug out right when it was at the wrong time so you just have to do it a couple of times but if I can get a spark off here yeah, so a little spark there, I'll do it again. Yeah, so a nice spark there. Now what that spark means is, if you look at the diagram, there is a capacitor there, and if that armature and brushes and everything were all a complete circuit, it would discharge that capacitor. But because we have an open circuit, that capacitor um, holds the charge. But you have to plug it in a few times to make sure you do charge the capacitor up because if you if you pull it out during the um, the low cycle of the AC waveform, it'll have no volt voltage on it. Anyway, so that's that's a really really quick way of um, diagnosing a bad motor. And I accidentally discovered this by giving myself quite a few shocks by by touching the end of the plug. Um, on faulty Dysons. Anyway, that's going to save somebody uh, a bunch of time, so uh, good luck with your repairs.